Hello everyone. So I am back with another interview question, which is popularly asked in front-end engineering interview rounds. And the question for the day is to deep flatten an array. So let's just say you have a nested array like this, in which you have arrays within arrays. And the objective is to deep flatten the array and the output will be something like this. And that is all the nested arrays should get converted into a singular array of numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So with that in mind, let's start off with the question for the day. So once you have an array, the first thing that we need to see is whether the element or the uh, we first iterate over the array. So for that, what we can do is first we can define a patterned array, which is the output array, let's just say. Now we iterate over each of the elements of the array. We can go with either map or for each, whichever is comfortable to you. And we have the item. Next thing that we check is whether the element is the element itself. If it is the element, then we return the element like we go with patterned array dot push the element or the item itself. That is, if it is an element, we can directly push it to the patterned array. If it is not, like if there is an array, then we need to add some another syntax. So for that, what we can do is we can add a check that whether the given element of the array, for example, one is a particular element, then two is another element. Uh, this nested array is another element from two, three, four, five. So if array dot is array, that is the particular element in the element in the array is an array. Then we go recursively and we deflatten it the array itself. So for that we write deflatten. the item so that it recursively goes ahead and deflatens the nested array itself now we need to concat it within the patterned array so we write something like patterned array is equal to patterned array dot concat that is we take the existing elements of the array and we concat the deflatened array which is returned by the recursive function and towards the end we return the patterned array So what this code will do is it will recursively go over each of the elements and if each of the item is an array then we pattern the array and we concat it using the deep pattern and if not then we push the flattened element into, into the flattened array. Now let's just say if this works. So as you can see the flattened array output is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 that is the array pattern so the overall course of solving this problem is recursively go over the nested array elements and go on deflattening them and once you reach the individual elements you push them into the top of the pattern array so basically we just recursively go over each of the array we take the individual elements and we push them into a external array which is that pattern array and we return the output so it's a simple question and uh, the only step which is needs to be take care of is this one, which is in which we concat the elements which are returned by the deep pattern itself and we concat them into the array itself. So this was the question which is asked popularly in interview rounds. Hope you understood how this goes by and hope you understood the logic. So that's it from my end for today. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.